It's a fun one. This is a fun one. Let's dive into this one here. Uh, as you may know, uh, we work with a lot of younger clients as well. I have nothing against that. Everybody should get the same level of advice. Maybe it doesn't always apply to them, but they should get the same level of, of advice as someone with lots of money because, right, it helps them get there faster. So I've always believed in that. And as many of you know, we are now the official financial services partner of Drum Corps International, something very, very near and dear to my heart. And you're going to be seeing a lot of us all over that scene if you are a participant, a fan, uh, maybe an instructor or whatever, a core member, you'll be seeing us there. Anyways, I was talking to one of these young kids. I say young because they were 31, right? 31. And we were trying to kind of not necessarily plan for retirement, but we we're just talking about some fun stuff that they could work on and that they wanted to do, starting a family and all that. And um, I heard him say, uh, hey, do you think um, now, instead of having a million for retirement, I need to have two million, right, with inflation and everything? And this is unique. So I'm going to go through some of this with you. I was like, I, I don't know. Like, how do I know it's two million? I mean, I, I agree it probably needs to be more, but inflation is part of a plan anyways. So shouldn't we be figuring that out? So let's take a look. Um, all right. So I mocked it up as if this is Louie. Um, I didn't do anything yet because I don't. I didn't have a chance to do the actual numbers. We're going to go through this together. So Louis is well. This person is not Louis, but it's thirty-one in this case. Now they want to retire at sixty. That was part of the numbers. Yeah, uh, length of retirement twenty-five. That basically just means they're going to live to be eighty-five. And all this really is. Um, this is our planner that we built. It's it's ours, custom made here at, at Jazz. We built it really to just get people thinking. Right, like, what's the number? What, where am I at? Am I close? Am I not? Do I need to do more detailed planning or not? Um, so this is where I guide the kids because you know we don't always have to be deep, you know, so crazy with them. Uh, so they've got seventy-two thousand already saved. All right, so that, that's actually really good compared to most people their age. Uh, current salary is eighty-eight. So let's just play with this real quick. Hang with me. 88,000. Now they did save quite a bit. They saved 12% in their uh, uh, percentage salary of save. They get 12% and they get a 6% match. You're seeing the stuff come to life there. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. 6% uh, match. That's accurate. Uh, they get 100% of that match. That's all that means. Uh, we're, no other savings at the moment. They're just doing the 401k. And now where they got misled was they, they said, oh, this, this looks pretty good. Now, if we take it a step further, this is the retirement side. So watch what happens here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do something way different with this. They wanted to live on 80, right? Because they make 88 and they said, this is pretty cool. If I could not work and make 80, that would be awesome. Now we don't really know Social Security for them at this age. We can make some guesstimates, right? But uh, you know, uh, just let just shoot low. I'm just I know this is not the number, but let's say 25. For whatever reason, they don't work as much and they don't get as much. Whatever. Um, okay. Now, notice we have a shortfall here. Um, that's not the problem. What did the, what did the client ask for in the beginning there? They said, well, uh, you know, I want to shoot for $2 million instead of $1 million. So is that going to work? So I was trying to explain this. I'm like, look, let's go over here. Right when you retire, God, it's such a small number. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it says 1.843 uh, is there. All right. That's about $2 million. Let's try something here. What if they had $80,000 saved already? That's going to boost this up. Oh, that's pretty close, right? I'm going to go 80. Let's say they put in uh, more money. They got 83,000. I'm just trying to get it close to 2 million to show you something here. 1,921,000. Close enough. Ah, it's going to kill me. Hold on a second. Let's go 87 million. That's going to, or 87,000. That's going to do it. All right. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so 1.95 million. They wanted $2 million, figuring that would make it. And I said, well, you know, I don't know. Um, look what happened, though. When you start telling me that you want to live off 80000 a year, and, you know, your returns are a little less because you're conservative now with some of your money. Uh, you know, we got a little Social Security and all this stuff. Hey, that doesn't actually work. You can have the two million all day long, but it's not going to fulfill your plan. You would actually only be able to live eighteen years, eighteen point one years, versus the twenty-five. 
So, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe some people think that 78 is a reasonable age to plan for. Maybe it is. Um, they could save, tw you know, they got to save more, basically, to make the plan successful. So it's cool about this, I thought, was that there's a disconnect between you see people that are like, if I had a million for retirement, I'd be fine. Oh, that's way too general. We, we got to know a whole lot more, even on the basic level. That's why I was using this and not nest egg. If you're familiar with us, nest egg is our incredibly in-depth financial planning software. This is just to make, in this case, this kid go, and I say kid, he's 31, but uh, this is to make this kid go, oh, well, a 2 million won't work. Now, are they that far off though? That's the thing. They're not that far off. We could change a handful of things here. He was dead set on retiring at 60 for the moment and possibly earlier. So I can't change that. But we're not too bad. Given his salary, I don't know if it makes sense to tell him to save 5,500 like to a Roth or something. I don't know. I'd, I'd want to ask more there. Uh, 17, almost 18%, right? If I put this in here and I go, I don't know that that's even something they would do. That, that's asking a lot. But you see how now at least we have some version of success in this plan. Um, so they got to save more. The two million wasn't going to cut it. The actual amount that they need is two point five seven five with these retirement expectations. I I don't know. This could change. Let's go back just for, real quick while we're having some fun here. They saved twelve already, so I'm going to give them to twelve. Let's say they're willing to. Re they don't want to budget sixty, but they're willing to spend an average of 65 over their life. So they may spend 80 in the first 10 years or so, you know, whatever, and spend a little less as they get older. All right. You know what I mean? Now to tell him, hey, bump your 401k up to 13% or just put a thousand bucks in a brokerage account or something, right? Okay. Now we've got choices. So the moral of the story was the 2 million wasn't going to cut it in, in this person's case. Maybe it does for you. I don't know. You have different variables, but 2 million like, wasn't going to cut it, but we're right there. We're, we're, we're working on something. It got them to ask questions. A 31-year-old, how cool is that, that they're going, tell me why that won't work? What can I change, right? This, I had this in my head. This is what I wanted to do. And to go back and go, well, wait a minute. Tell me about what you want to spend in retirement. How'd you come up with 80? Do you really think it's 80, like, in future dollars, right? Um, 60 was non-negotiable. Got to live, uh, retire at 60 or possibly earlier. So that, that's how you get the younger crowd to start, you know, focusing on that, right? Instead of just telling them like, oh, you got to save this much and don't spend and the thing with the Starbucks, don't buy the Starbucks coffee. I don't know, whatever. He can still live his life. I thought that was pretty cool. So a little bit of a shorter one here today to share with you, but uh, from actual uh, experience, what people are asking about out there and how we handle it here at Jazz Wealth. So, uh, hey, you know, check us out, jazzwealth.com. And, uh, well, you know, we'll see you next time.